Puffins, how are you? It's the end of another week's learning. Well done. As ever, you've been absolutely fantastic and done some super learning. What wonderful photographs you sent in and we are so proud of you. To end this week's learning, I thought I'd read you a story. Now in this story, there's a character that also starts with the sound T, but it's not Titch. This story is all about a T, I, G, uh, tiger. Shall we read it? It's called, what does that say? The tiger, stripy tiger, who came to tea. Imagine if a tiger came to your house to have some tea with you. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Let's see what happens in the story. Here's the first page and you see the title of the book is The Tiger Who Came to Tea and the author, the person who wrote it, is a lady called Judith Kerr. Would you like to go for a ride on the top of a tiger? I think I might be a little bit scared. Let's go. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having her tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Ding dong! Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who could that be? It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer, because this isn't the day that he comes. And it can't be Daddy, because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door. And there was a big, furry, stripy, Tiger, look how tall the tiger is. There's Sophie and the tiger is almost twice her size. He is much taller. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think you could have tea with you? Do you think I could have some tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, of course. Come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Look how long his tail is. It curls all the way underneath the table and then onto the top near of the table near Sophie. Sophie's mummy said, would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't take just one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them with one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buttons, buns. Oh, they look like, can you see really closely? They look like they're chocolate buns. Yummy scrummy. But again, he didn't. The tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk from the milk jug and all the tea from the teapot. Look how he's pouring it into his mouth. It must have cooled down by now because normally tea is quite hot, hot. And then he looked round the kitchen. He does look a friendly tiger, doesn't he? He looked round the kitchen to see what else he could find. Can you see anything on that picture that you would like to eat? He ate all the 
the supper that was cooking in the saucepan. And all the food that was in the fridge. Goodness me. And look at him here. He's looking in the cupboard. And you know what? When he went in the cupboard, he ate all the packets and all the tins that he could find in the cupboard. Then he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all of daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Tap. Can you see Sophie though? She's having a little cuddle with his soft furry tail. Then he said, thank you for my supper and my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And off he went. Look at Sophie's mummy. She's looking at everything that's happened. <gasps> Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. And the tiger has eaten everything. It's eaten all of it. And Sophie found out that she couldn't have a bath. Do you remember? Why couldn't she have a bath? What did the tiger do? That's right, he drank all the water. Because the tiger had drunk all the water out of the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home from work. So Sophie and mummy told him all what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and had drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. Do you think he went, ka -ching! I've got a really good idea. We'll put on our coats and we'll go to a cafe. Oh, look, it's dark outside. It's always exciting when it's dark outside and you go somewhere out for a meal. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to the cafe. Look, can you see this little? Is it a tiger? It looks very like the tiger. And they had a lovely supper with ice cream sausages and chips, but not in that order. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more to eat. Goodness, look how full mummy's shopping bag is. She's taken a basket on wheels. She's filled it with bread. Can you see the bread and some bottles, but also some pretty flowers to put on the table. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food, just in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. Well, can you see the tiger? He's playing a little tune on his trumpet that's going, Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed the story called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you again on Monday.